This is Mike Hancock, rocking your life from Singapore today. And as I'm in Singapore, I'm having a look at this cute little magazine article that I wrote about asking better questions. Now, the whole thrust of this article is something I want to cover with you today. The fact of the matter is, if you ask lousy questions, what sort of answers are you going to get? Lousy, of course. So that means you're going to have mm, lousy information. And that means you're probably going to make a mm, lousy decision. <laughs> Make sense? So if you ask great questions, you'll probably get great answers, have great information, and therefore be able to make great decisions. So let me give you a couple of examples. Terry Rogers, really good friend of mine, ex-chairman of IBM in Australia Pacific, or Asia Pacific. Uh, he was, his favorite question that he likes to ask himself whenever he gets given a problem is this, who in the world is the best person to answer this question? question and solve this problem. Not who in my neighborhood, not even who do I know, not who in my country, but who in the world is the best person to solve this problem and answer this question. And by simply doing that, one of the things that Terry was able to do once is he was able to turn over $250,000 in revenue and fees for himself by not even leaving his yacht, by tapping in, going to some of his friends, asking that question, leading on to a second generation, a third generation person. By the time he got there, he found somebody to solve the problem and banked a great big wad of cash. So asking better questions is absolutely phenomenal. The other thing that I want to talk about here, for those of you that are in sales, it's down here, it says poor quality referrals. Guess what? I spent a lot of my time in the financial services industry and everybody said, go out there and get referrals, get referrals, get referrals. And you know how most people in financial services ask for referrals? Who do you know who you can refer me to? Well, what sort of question is that? The answer is like, oh, I don't know anybody because I don't even know who you are or what you want, right? So the whole concept of framing a question so that the person can really understand what the question is about and deliver value in their answer is really important. So if I was in sales today, I might ask a question saying, who do you know who is the absolute best business person that you know personally? Now, a lot of people could go, hmm, the best business person I know personally is, hmm, let me see, this person. So, okay, that's great. Would you be able to introduce me to that person? Yeah, sure I can. So now you've already lifted the quality of your game because if you're in financial services, if you want to deal with the best possible business people that you can, or do you just want to deal with anybody who comes along? This is a big issue for salespeople because by not asking the best possible questions that they can, what they're doing is that they're limiting the answers to whatever people feel like telling them, which actually means they've handed over control of their business and that means control of their future to somebody to make the decisions for them. So if I get asked that question, I might send them off to see somebody I don't even like or don't even trust and then that person going to end up doing business with them and guess what? It's not going to be a great future. So by asking the best possible questions that you can as a salesperson, particularly with referrals, you're going to get the best possible answers. And the third thing here that I want to talk to you about is deciding what it is that you really want. And what I mean by that is that there's always a question beneath the question. One of the questions I use in coaching all the time is, what do you want? And people go, oh, I want um, you know, a, a better job, I want to have some more money, um, I'd like to buy a new car. And then I might ask a different question, which is the question behind the question, which is, so what do you really want? And they go, hmm, well, actually I really just like to have a happy life, I really just want to get home at 7 o'clock and it's time to read a, a book to my children before bed. See, by just framing and using a little different words in that, and knowing what you want to get out of that question, you're going to enable yourself to ask much better questions. Everything that you get in life is down to the quality of questions you ask. So ask the best questions that you possibly can. Don't just go on the first answer either. Be prepared to ask the question behind the question, and that will serve you well. I'm Mike Hancock, rocking your life, and I'll see you again next time.